Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So in today's training, I want to share with you my top reversal price action patterns that work. Well, at least it works for me, right? Among the hundreds of, you know, chart patterns I've come across, I find that these three chart patterns, right, that you're about to discover are the most reliable ones that I've seen, right? So let's get started. Pattern number one, sign of strength. So bracket here or weakness is basically the opposite of the uh, sign of strength. So what you're looking for when I talk about sign of strength is a higher lows into resistance. So let's say, for example, this is resistance and you see higher lows approaching it, right? Price tested it, retraces, retest it, retraces, retest it, makes a pullback, retest it, pullback. And the key thing that I want you to pay attention is the depth of the pullback. It gets shallower and shallower over here. This is the length of the pullback, the first attempt. Right, this is the second attempt, this is the third attempt, and this over here is the fourth attempt. And you notice that the depth of the pullback is getting smaller and smaller. This tells you that the buyers they are willing to buy at these higher prices. Make sense? So this shows you right strength from the buyers because they are willing to buy at these higher prices even though the price is approaching resistance. This tells you that they are confident, right, that this market could break up. And I want you to think of it like this, right? So imagine that there is a wooden door in front of you and in your hands right now is one big huge sledgehammer a big mighty tall sledgehammer and you take this hammer and you smash against the door bam 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 multiple times let me ask you what is likely to happen to the wooden door well it's likely to break right makes sense and it's the same concept right as what i just shared with you earlier over here price you know tested once twice thrice four times within a short period of time. It's like the hammer smashing against the door multiple times within a short period of time. Let me ask you, what is likely to happen? The door is likely to break. And it's the same for resistance, right? Resistance is likely to break out higher. All right, and the opposite of this is what I call a sign of weakness, which is simply lower highs into support. And for those of you who are familiar with chart patterns, this is also known as ascending triangle or descending triangle. So let me share with you a few examples. So. As you can see over here, this is the chart of Bitcoin, and I want to point out to you over here. Notice here, there's a resistance. Notice the ascending triangle, the series of higher low approaching resistance. Higher low, higher low, higher low, and then what happens? Well, it probably breaks out, right? Same thing over here. Lower highs into support. This is your area of support. You see, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. What's likely to happen? Imagine the hammer smashing against the door, likely to break down. Okay, and another example here, dollar against the Indian rupee. So this one here, I think the market is still unfolding, but from the looks of things, right, you notice this market, this area of support, lower high, lower high, lower high. What's likely to happen? My guess over here, based on this price action of this market, is likely to break down. Whether I'm proven wrong or right, we'll have to, to wait and see, but this is, you know, uh, the concept that I'm trying to bring across. And of course, right, this is no guarantee. If you're thinking, oh man, Rainer, you know, your, your prediction is wrong, your analysis is wrong. Well, guess what, my friend? In trading, we're dealing with probabilities, never certainty. In fact, I can show you a chart right now to prove that this doesn't work all the time. If you look at this, Bitcoin, okay, area of support, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, break up. Ta -da! What happened, Rainer? Well, we're dealing with probabilities, right? It doesn't work all the time, but uh, more often than not, right, it tends to uh, have a follow through towards the downside whenever you see a lower highs into support. Okay, so that's my point here. So moving on, the second reversal price action pattern, the triple test failure. So what do I mean by this? So imagine, right, you you ask a girl out, right, the first time you ask her, hey, Jane, would you like to go on a date with me? And then Jane says, uh, uh, Rainer, I'm, I'm, not, I'm having some menses today, right? I'm not feeling too good, right? I, I can go out with you. Right, and you think, okay, fine. Maybe it's a, it's a genuine reason. So the second time you ask Jane, Hey Jane, want to hang out? And then Jane replied, Hey Rainer, I have a you know a, a sudden appointment today, Rainer. I, I can't hang out with you today. So you think, hmm, maybe this might be a, a really a genuine reason. First time is Mensa, second time she has an appointment with her friends. Hmm, it's alright. Let me ask her a third time. Hey Jane, would you like to hang out with me for the third time? And then Jane tells you, Hey Rainer, you know, I, I, I can't hang out with you, right? Because you know, today my, my cat, uh, she has Mensa today. At that point, you know, She's smoking you, right? She's full of beep, right? So don't waste your time, right? Three times rejection, move on, right? The grass is greener elsewhere, right? Cut your losses and move on. And it's the same here for trading. When you see a price retesting a level, right, and just couldn't break out, chances are, okay, 
it's not going to break out and reverse. So let me explain uh, how this one works. So this one, right, is uh, patterns like, you know, the head and shoulders pattern, the inverse head and shoulders pattern, triple top, triple bottom. So the key thing to here to look at, right, is that unlike the ascending triangle or unlike the sign of strength where you saw series of higher lows approaching resistance, for this one, it's just a swing up, swing down three times. So head and shoulders, for example, it swings up, down, up, down, up, then it breaks down. This one example. Or alternatively, it could be a triple top like this, tested once, come back down, tested second time, come back down, second time, third time, come back down. So notice the price action of this compared to the ascending triangle. This one here, the lows, right, are all pretty much uh, near one another here of equal price point, whereas the ascending triangle one, the low, right, is making series of higher lows. So this is a key difference, right? This new ones, you have to pay attention to it. Okay, so usually this is what I call the triple test failure. It could be in the form of a triple top or the uh, or the head and shoulders pattern. So let me share with you a, a few examples. So this one over here. All right, so you can see over here, we have this head and shoulders pattern here or the triple test failure. Tested once, twice, and three times over here, otherwise known as a head and shoulders pattern. We have this neckline, then price breaks out. Or how about this one at Aussie Swiss franc? You see this one here. Head and shoulders pattern with this one here. Head, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And over here, we have somewhat another inverse head and shoulder pattern. Over here. So you can see that the market, you know, it has uh, tried to break out three times, but fail. And then, you know, reverse back in the opposite direction. So this is what I mean by the uh, triple test failure. It can come in the form of a head and shoulders pattern. Can come in the form of a triple top, right? And the opposite is just the inverse head and shoulders pattern and the triple bottom. So don't worry about you know how do I trade these chart patterns. We'll we'll talk about that later on. But for now, I just want you to, to understand right the concepts right behind these reversal patterns. And the final one that I want to share with you is a false break. So it's simply a strong price rejection at a key level. It could be at resistance. It could be at a swing high. It could be at a you know uh, the highest all time high, right? So you want it to be a strong rejection at a key level. So let me share with you, you know, what I mean by you know strong rejection at a key level. So if you look at this chart, very obvious over here, dollar Mexican. This is a strong rejection at this key level over here. I believe this is like the all-time high here on dollar Mexican at this point in time. So let me just do a quick pull, uh, zoom out the charts. You can see that, yeah, I guess so. Right, possibly this was the uh, all-time high on dollar Mexican. This candle here. Then we had a strong rejection over here, right? This is what I mean by a false break. Price broke out of the previous all-time high only to smash down close lower for the day. That's what we are looking for. A key level, a level that the whole world will be watching when the price breaks out of it and then reverse back in the opposite direction. Nice. False break. Another one, pound dollar. So this one over here, let me just find this. Another one, right? If you look at this, pound dollar has been smashing, right? Uh, consistently lower over time. I think this was possibly last year. I'll just do a quick zoom out. Yep, 2019. Over here, price making a series of lower highs and lower lows in the downtrend. This was the extreme low. Then price came back, retest again, only to get rejected and close higher for the day. Notice this bullish price rejection where the price closed higher for the day. Right. So this is another type of false break. Uh, pattern. So for those of you again who are familiar with chart patterns, this is something that we call you know like a double bottom, double top. Okay. So so these are the three uh, reversal price action patterns that I want you to be aware of. But at this point in time, right, I'm not done yet because I want to share with you a few tips, right, to help you you know better time your entries, right, and find high probability trading reversal price patterns to trade. Tip number one: Not all of these patterns are tradable. So yeah, I just shared with you three categories of reversal price action patterns, but I'm here to tell you that not all of them are tradable. Why is that? And the reason is simple, because you might not have a valid trading setup on every of these patterns. So let me just give you an example. If you look at Aussie Swiss franc, okay, earlier we, we, we talked about this, Aussie Swiss franc. So let's say over here, you have this, this uh, head and shoulders pattern. Okay, so this head and shoulders pattern here. Right, the triple test failure. Tested once, this is the left shoulder. Tested twice, the head, and tested thrice, the right shoulder. Then you have this neckline over here. Okay, so now let me ask you. Yes, you have spot this reversal price action pattern towards the downside. That's what you're expecting. But how do you trade this? Where do you enter your trade? So what some traders might do is that they might short the breakdown of these lows or wait for the price to break and close below support and you, and you go short. Fair enough. But where is a logical place to set your stop loss? Because looking at this market, right, the nearest market structure, right, could possibly be this swing high over here. 
where the price has been rejected before. So if you're going to reference this right shoulder to set your stop loss, right? Let's say you set it one ATR above it, your stop loss, right? Minimum, right, would be somewhere about here. So from your entry point, let's say from here all the way up to here, this is a pretty done wide stop loss. Are you comfortable with the size of this stop loss? Because if you are, then fair enough, take the trade, right? But for most of you out there, probably not because this I would say is in the realm of like you know two to three hundred pips right most of you are probably not comfortable with it so this is why I said right that yes you might be able to spot a reversal price action pattern but you might not trade it because you don't have a valid trading setup so on the other hand let's look at New Zealand dollar so for this one over here okay yes now we have another uh, triple test failure or an inverse head and shoulder pattern I right, tested once the left shoulder tested twice from the head and tested thrice the right shoulder this is the neckline so now can you see the difference with this pattern and the one i shared with you earlier for this one now the move right into resistance is kind of like a forming a series of higher lows into resistance right higher low higher low higher low at this point right we we even have what i call a build up right notice this nice tight squeeze over here this nice tight squeeze over here i like this for two reasons number one I can have a tighter stop loss instead of setting my stop loss below the head or below the right shoulder here or here i can now reference my stop loss using the lows of this uh, build up that's a good thing right my stop loss is now tighter second thing is this is that the market is now in a low volatility environment this tells me that the market is ready to make a move right whether higher or lower you know is anyone's guess but it's about to make a move so if i have a tighter stop loss and if volatility expands let's say it breaks out it expands in my favor i could achieve right a favorable risk to reward on this trade i could risk like you know uh, 100 pips to make 200 pips 300 pips that's something favorable right because of the size of my stop loss because it's pretty small like let's say 100 pips 150 pips around there right the market don't have to move too much in my favor for me to earn a profit of one r a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio okay so this is what i mean by not all patterns are tradable you still need a valid trading setup to trade it or how about let's go back to the previous example let's say you know you are uh, you know, you understand price action trading. So what you can do is that instead of chasing the markets, right? So chasing this. Okay, let me just zoom this one out. Okay, this was the one we saw earlier. So maybe instead of this one over here, instead of chasing the breakdown over here, you could look for the price to come down lower, make a retest at previous support that could become resistance over here, right? This previous support become resistance and look to for selling opportunities over here. So now you can set your stop loss right to reference it against this area where previous support could be resistance that could be another approach right but again you have to wait for that trading setup to unfold itself it may or may not occur okay so that's the first tip that i have for you when you trade chart patterns reversal patterns right not all of them are tradable number two tip number two how do you find high probability market reversals because here's the truth right not all of these patterns right are created equal some of them have a higher probability of reversal than the other one right and the key thing is to watch right if your price pattern right leans against a higher time frame price structure so let me explain so let's say you are looking for an ascending triangle pattern here okay all right let's say this is an ordinary one right and then you spot another one that looks exactly like this but this time around you notice that this ascending triangle right the low of this ascending triangle is actually leaning uh against right a higher time frame support so let's say this red line red line is a higher time frame support and this ascending triangle is laying just above it so now can you see how difference how much of a difference this will make because now your ascending triangle is on a higher time frame support all right, so let me share with you a few examples, all right, to, to kind of, you know, make my point. So if you look at this chart over here, okay, so I'm going to share with you the, the chart of Bitcoin that you're familiar with, right? So this was the ascending triangle you've seen earlier. Right, if I zoom out some more, furthermore, you'll notice that this actually is on a key level, right? Let me just show you. Do you see where this ascending triangle, this one that I shared earlier, where it's leaning against? It's leaning against this key area of support right tested once and if you look back this was actually a previous resistance that now becomes support and now this ascending triangle is on this area of support as well so i'm just going to show you here the big picture you can see how significant this ascending triangle is right now okay so when i zoom in you realize that this ascending triangle 
right it's leaning against this key area of support which can be seen on the higher time frame the weekly time frame so if you don't believe me i just go up to the weekly time frame so this is the ascending triangle this portion here and this is the key area of support on the higher time frame make sense okay so let me share with you another example pound yen so same concept right if something if a reversal price action pattern leans against a higher time frame there's a higher probability of a reversal so if we look at this right this is a daily time frame right price is at this area of resistance if i go down to the four hour time frame i'm going to split my charts like this ka -ching, right this is a four hour time frame change this to pound yen over here okay so just to uh, bring out the area this over here is at this portion over here okay so if i just draw the level over here notice again we have this triple test failure over here is here right price tested once twice three times and fail again this is not just an ordinary uh triple test failure right this triple test failure occurred at a key resistance on the higher time frame and if to trade this right what we can do is good we can wait for the price to either you know retest this previous support that could become resistance go short on this uh, rejection or you wait for this price this market to break below this swing low you can reference this swing high to set your stop loss somewhere about here so a couple of ways you could have traded this okay but the key concept that i want to share with you is that if you notice a reversal price action pattern leaning against a higher time frame price structure like support or resistance a trend line it makes it really much more powerful okay so that's tip number two for you and finally right tip number three the reversal price action patterns which i've just shared with you they can also be traded as trend continuation patterns okay so let me share with you a few so for example let's look at uh, this one here so if you look at a bitcoin if you look at this bitcoin right when the price collapsed over here okay notice over here it was in a huge uh, downtrend when the price reversed from twenty thousand, right so at this point right you can see that we have a bearish trend continuation right shown as a descending triangle lower high lower high lower high coming into support all right so this is another or rather this is to share with you right that reversal price action patterns right don't just have to be trading reversal you can also tr use it right to trade in the direction of the trend another one on gold right if you look at this familiar market is in an uptrend notice a series of higher lows coming into resistance this is another bullish trend continuation pattern in the form of a ascending triangle so hopefully this tip right is to to let you know right that you in trading right there's no like say this pattern is a reversal pattern you can't trade it as a trend continuation no right you have to be versatile right and you understand that you know trend continuation patterns or rather reversal patterns right can also act as trend continuation patterns make sense and let's do a quick recap right so here's what we have covered today right number one we talk about the sign of strength or weakness ascending or descending triangle pattern triple test failure could be in the form of a uh, head and shoulders pattern triple top triple bottom or the inverse head and shoulders pattern then we have the false break which are usually in the form of a double top double bottom uh, first tip is not all of these patterns are tradable because sometimes you might not have a valid trading setup tip number two right you want to lean against a higher time frame price structure like support resistance trend line moving average so that you have a higher probability of a reversal and tip number three right reversal patterns can also be a form of a trend continuation pattern and by the way if you want to learn more of such price action trading strategies and techniques right then the best place to be is at trading with uh, rainer.com my website here download this guide the ultimate guide to price action trading all right if you want to learn more about support resistance trend line uh, area of value and stuff like that but if you want to learn more about candlestick patterns right you know how to use it to better time your entries and exits then go get the monster monster guide to candlestick patterns all right they are free right just uh click on it right and i'll send it to your email address for free so with that said i wish you good luck and good trading i will talk to you soon